So if I ask you, which is the most important app on your Android device, you might say Google, WhatsApp, or any of your personal favorites. But for me, it's the Play Store. And the reason is, it is the one place I can download the other apps from. I mean, new or old, if I want to download any app, it's right there. And well, this video is all about the Play Store and I'll be talking about some cool hidden tricks that you should be aware of if you are an Android user and it can make, uh, a, I mean, your entire experience of downloading apps and keeping your Play Store up to date and then finding the specific things you're looking for very easy. So well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Okay, so the first trick is actually pretty simple. We all use the Play Store to keep our apps up to date, right? But how do you update the Google Play Store? Some of you might say that side loading or downloading the APK file of Google Play Store might do the trick, but that's not always the case. And for such reason, what you can do is simply tap on the hamburger menu and open up the Play Store settings. Now just scroll all the way down to the Play Store version and then tap on it. If a new update is available, it will inform you of the same while also downloading the latest version. If not, you'll get a notification saying that it's already on the latest version. Now the Play Store will be downloaded in the background and you might not even be aware about it. And for that, I mean, if you have any doubts on how that works, we already have a dedicated video and I'll provide you with the links in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check out how you can manually update the Google Play Store on your Android device. Okay, so let's move on to the next trick and I'm sure a couple of you will like this one. Now, not all apps are free on the Play Store and there are some crazy expensive apps out there that you might like and would want to download. Now, it can get expensive, yes, but did you know that you can share that paid expense with your friends and family? Well, to do that, just open up the sidebar and tap on the account option. Here, inside the family tab, you'll have the option to manage family members. From here, you can add your friends and family, basically the people with whom you'd like to share the app or game and then send them an invite. So basically, when everybody is on one family group, they can share that particular paid app without any issues. So if you have bought an app, you can share it with your family. If the other person has bought an app, you can share it. If you want to buy an app and you want to share it, you can like split the expense. It's, it's, it's very easy. Also, if you use YouTube Music, the family members can go for a family plan of YouTube Premium or YouTube Music and save a lot of money. So that was about sharing the expense. And now let's talk about the one trick that I often use. We all download a lot of apps, but there are times when I face some issues with the app not working on my phone. So what do I do if that particular app is not working for me and in that particular uh, version of the phone, I mean the OS or the phone maker. And when you go to Play Store, there are reviews, but then it might work for other devices and it might not work for your device. So what to do in that case? So to read the review, just specifically for the device you are using, go to the review section and just tap on the arrow to expand it. Now while sorting them, just enable the checkbox next to this device model and that's it. Now it will only show reviews by people who have the same phone as you are having so that you can actually see if your device is an issue for that particular app or it's for general. So let's talk about the next one and it's a feature that you might have stumbled upon, you might have accidentally used, but then you were not aware as to what you were actually using. So that feature is called Instant Apps and what it does it, it allows you to try an app with its basic features without having to download the full thing. So whether it's an app or a game, you can try it out and if you'd liked it, you download it later. Basically, you don't have to waste a lot of data for just checking an app out. Just open up an app that support instant apps and you'll see a tap on it to try. And that's about it. You can try it out easily and it will not download any file on your device and everything will be done on the cloud. Okay, so the last feature is pretty cool and it is about accessing features before everybody else does. I mean, you must have heard WhatsApp will be rolling out multi, I mean, uh, the dark mode. WhatsApp might be rolling out eight people on video conferencing. But then before it hits everybody in the market, there is a beta version that you can use. But how do you do that? Yes, all you need to do is open up the app of your choice and scroll down. 
Here you'll see an option to join the beta group. Tap on join and then join again. It will take a couple of minutes to enroll your account to the beta group, but once you've done, you should get an update for it on the Play Store. But here's the thing, the beta builds are not stable and you might accidentally encounter a few hiccups here and there. So just make sure that, I mean, you have to be on the bleeding edge to explore those new features before everybody else does. And if you really don't want, I mean, see, you can enroll to a beta version, but if you really think that the particular app has too much bugs for it beta versions, you can then unenroll yourself. It's very simple, don't worry about it. So well guys, those were some of the hidden secrets of the Play Store and I'm sure you must have liked the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button now as well. So well, that's all and I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.